have started an ads blog. Excitedly thinking of what your first question might be, fills you with determination. Congratulations, human. You have started an ask blog. You gained a follower. Thank you. Please don't be shy about asking questions. This blog was made to help humans understand monsters better. But if you happen to be a monster who's just very curious about me and my friends, that's fine too. Monsters are scary! Why did you bring them here? Ah! Mm. Because it was wrong for humans to lock them away and they deserve freedom and happiness like everyone else. I understand why some of you might be scared of them, but I assure you there's nothing to be afraid of. And monsters aren't scary. They're cute. How's life for all of you on the surface? It's wonderful! All of us live in this big, beautiful house. We built it brand new. Nobody had any money that humans would accept when they left the underground. And a lot of humans refused to sell homes to monsters, so it's been hard. But all of us pulled our money and built this place. Now me, Mom, Sans, Pyrus, Undyne, Alphys, King Asgore, and Flowey all live here together. So, is Sans and Toriel a thing yet, or not? Not as far as I know, but I'll ask them anyway. <laughs> oh, hey kid, how's the whole blog thing going? Pretty good. One of the questions I got is about you, so I thought I'd ask you about it before jumping to any conclusions. Sure, what's the question? You gotta promise you'll give me a truthful answer. Why? Because, please. Please, kid. What kind of questions are you getting on that blog? It's only been up a couple of days. Okay, sure. All right. I promise to give a truthful answer to your ominous question. So, my mom. Would you kiss her and do gross, mushy stuff with her if you knew she was down? Uh... <gasps> How is the volatile houseplant? Flowery. So, I see you taking Flowery with you. That, um, uh, might be an interesting living situation. It's really not as bad as you think. Gee whiz, this place sure is a dump. Which I guess is appropriate because nothing but garbage lives here. But... You live here too, Flowey. Did I f stutter? At least I know I'm trash. You people think you're so great. Flowey, I do not tolerate anyone using profanity in front of my child. <laughs> Sorry. Flowey may not be able to feel love, but I think there's more of Azrael in him than he pretends there is. I see glimpses of it sometimes. And I didn't spend time and space to save only most of the monsters. I'll find a way to help him love again. I'm determined to save him. Our mom's pretty intimidating, huh? Don't sass me, you little- Careful, bro. Mom might get the soap out next time. Call me bro again and I'll strangle you in your sleep. How's Alphys and Undyne doing? How are both Undyne and Alphys on the surface? Has the relationship deepened since we last saw them? I presume Alphys and Undyne are a thing. Also, are they weebs? Undyne and Alphys are absolutely a thing. I'd like to think I helped in some small way. Normally I'd go and directly ask them some questions, but I can't right now because they're on vacation in Japan. But I'm pretty confident when I say that they're closer than ever. Does Undyne still believe anime is real? Speaking of anime, has Alphys ever watched Jojo Bizarre Adventure? I actually told Undyne the truth about anime. She took it as well as I could have hoped. She was really excited about the Japan trip once she learned that's where anime is made. As for Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, most of the anime that Alphys had in the underground was really old, so they have a lot to catch up on. Any anime that wasn't made in the 90s or earlier is probably one they haven't seen yet, but I've seen Jojo, and I recommended it to them a while ago. So, does Medizan live with you? No, he has his own house nearby, but he hasn't been home because he's on tour right now. That's why Undyne and Alvis are in Japan, actually. He gave them an all-expenses-paid trip so that they could see him in concert there. He actually offered for us all to go, but I have school and the others have jobs. Jobs that don't give paid vacations. Do any of you share a room? Flowey and I share a room. He just kind of lives in his flower pot on the table in front of the window so he can see outside and photosynthesize and stuff. Undyne and Alphys also share a room. For obvious reasons.
Have you tried asking Toriel the same thing? Referring to the Sans and Toriel date question. I tried a similar strategy with my mom to learn her true thoughts and feelings. Things like this are tricky. People often hide their feelings, even from themselves. So the best way to learn the truth is to catch them off guard and carefully watch their body language. Hey mom, did you know that Sans thinks you're hot? <gasps> Good news, Sans. She's down. <laughs>